On Tuesday morning, Prime Minister Trudeau was asked about a new report on racism in the military. I think we know that over the, the years, over the past decades, there has been not nearly enough done uh, to counter discrimination, to counter toxic work environment, uh, not enough work done to change the culture in the military. Uh, we have taken significant strides uh, over the past number of years, particularly over the past year. Uh, but there's always more to do, and we're going to keep, uh, keep working on it. The reports of intolerance and discrimination in Canada's armed forces are nothing new. Not much has changed over the years. Toronto Metropolitan University professor Pam Pometer researches racism in Canada's military and police and says the problem lies at the top. Well, you have to think about who's in control. Right? Who's in control of the military? What is the power structure? Who's actually sitting in the hierarchy? And if those that are in management and upper management and senior management hold those same views, they're not going to be very incentivized to tell the guys beneath them not to do that. NDP MP Lori Idloud agrees systemic racism runs deep in the forces, and she says it is all the more hurtful to Indigenous people because they have a long history of serving their country. For these kinds of extremist people to be allowed to continue to keep their infiltration within these systems is so painful to continue to watch and to content for us to have to continue to try to compel government action uh, is disheartening. Alex Maurice is the president of the Saskatchewan Métis Veterans. He also served eight years in the military in the mid-1970s and early 1980s. Where he says persistent racism in the forces is having a negative effect on Indigenous recruitment. The, the young people aren't dumb, so they know what's subtle and what's not subtle. So they do their training, some of them challenge it after, but most of them don't even last a year or two and they quit, if they even join. Both Pometer and Maurice say the federal government does not have the stomach to tackle racism within the ranks. They say change will only come through keeping the matter in the public eye. And their hand can be forced through litigation. Their hand can be forced through um, complaints to different international bodies and public, you know, political embarrassment. Uh, but most importantly, they can be pushed to act by both the media and Canadians themselves not stopping attention on this. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.